Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day. Today is Saturday the 16th, and today was a lovely, beautiful day to be alive. Got up this morning, fairly normal time frame I guess. Not too early, not too late, just kind of got up, got the dogs out. Um, doing my best to keep them quiet. Um, actually snuck back in the house and grabbed myself some uh, butter pecan ice cream. Somehow, in my adult age, I, as I've gotten older, I can't eat dairy late at night, or it really messes me up. So, I don't know if it's like a adult onset lactose um, imbalance, and it only happens at night. I have no idea what it is. So, now I have to, if I want ice cream, I have to eat it in the morning. No idea why. I think I can eat it midday also, but I never eat anything midday. I may eat breakfast, and I almost always eat dinner. Not always, but I'll skip meals every once in a while. I'll go a couple days and won't eat. It seems weird, but. I ne rarely ever eat around like lunchtime. So I was like, hey, I'm gonna knock this out. I'm gonna have myself some ice cream. So I went ahead and grabbed that, headed back outside with the dogs, ate some ice cream out there, chilling with them. Um, wife got up finally. So you'll start making noise in the house. I got all the dogs all fed and medicated and all the good fun that comes with it. So chilled out from there. Got a couple things else done. Um, hang around in the morning, end up with one of my dogs was going home today, so I was waiting for that to reach out. And one of the dogs didn't get picked up to basically just go spend time with the owners because the dog's here for a month straight. So I think they want to make sure the dog doesn't forget who they are kind of thing. So I went ahead and uh, basically just kind of hanging around. Wife went to the office, getting a bunch of work done and stuff that needed to be done. And I was hang hanging out. Just came and picked up the first dog. Everything was good to go. I had another dog scheduled to be dropped off. Uh, that dog got dropped off and it was dropped off by the woman's father because I guess she left for the airport real early or whatever and didn't want to spend an extra night or pay for an extra night. So the dad dropped the dog off and they brought me a crate that's all beat to shit. Like it's the way the crates fold in themselves, like the whole bottom's busted off, so it's like impossible to use. I don't know if they're still using this thing, I have no idea. But it's the dog um, likes to sleep in the crate at times, so makes it feel a little more comfortable. So I asked her to bring the crate and also requested a itemized like list of how much food, how often, all that kind of good fun stuff, different things I asked for. Didn't get the note, didn't get nothing, so I have no idea how much the dog eats. Um, don't know how often it eats, none of that. So the dog was chilling out. The dog's super hyper, it's a doodle uh, mix. I'm not sure what it's mixed with, but holy crap, that dog is just hyper. They're, I think most doodles are hyper. So went ahead and basically playing with it and just getting it wore out. Then of course the rain came, so when it's raining, the dog is loving the rain. So the dog's running around the yard and it's just slopping wet. And the dog, will, when it drinks water, it sticks like half its head in the bowl and then runs across the house. Thing goes over and sticks its head back in the bowl and runs across the house. So my whole floor is like soaking wet. Some of their dry mop on my floor constantly trying to keep it dry. But outside I don't care, do what you want. But inside it's super annoying. So and this now this dog is just soaking wet from the rain. So I sent some pictures. The owner let him know the dog's out here running like a lunatic in the rain and she was enjoying that whole thing and didn't realize there wasn't a note in the food until late this evening when I went to feed him. And since she sent him back, like it took like four tries to get the answers. It's the whole concept of like, she'd answer one of the questions, sorta, and I'd ask all the questions again, then she'd ask her one of the other questions, sorta, and finally I had to like ask each question individually. I'm like, holy crap, it can't be that hard. Just answer the questions. But, And I'm sure they're thinking, hey, stop bugging me. I'm on vacation. But had you done what I asked and left me a note, I wouldn't be bugging you right now. So kind of is what it is. And the, like I said, the crate's all jacked up. So um, everything was good there. Um, the dogs are getting along fine. Had another dog that was supposed to get picked up. And basically half an hour after their pickup time, which was not set in stone, but pretty, pretty accurate at the time. Half an hour after it was supposed to be picked up, I get a text saying, they want to pick the dog up tomorrow morning instead because something came up today. And I'm like, you're supposed to be here half an hour ago. So I've been waiting around here, not able to go do my shopping, not being able to do anything, waiting for you to show up here. Kind of disrespectful, kind of inappropriate, but it is what it is. I said, well, best I can do is just, you know, in the morning, reach out, see if I'm available. I'm not going to be able to, I'm not blocking off two days on the weekend for you to meet you and have you not show up for one of them at least, kind of thing. So. They said, okay, we'll reach out in the morning, go from there. So we'll see how that goes tomorrow. But went ahead, um, dogs were chilling out. Brought the, after the rain had stopped, I went ahead and brought the dogs inside and um, went for my run. And the doodle 
decided she wanted to try and annoy the uh, little pit bull. I was like trying to help him and stuff and just, just being annoying, just being an annoying, annoying little dog. So she had to be separated out, which wasn't a big deal. She did fine with it. So she got quarantined a little bit in the process, but wasn't gone. I got a good run in, wasn't gone for that long though. So it like literally just happened like 10 minutes before I got back. So she got separated. But over than that, they got along good. Um, hung around. My wife had said she wanted pizza tonight, which was fine. And then apparently, I guess my mom um, didn't talk to her about what they were having and stuff. So mom already ate. So went ahead and I'm like, okay. So she decided since mom already ate, she didn't want to order pizza because you know, she wouldn't be able to have pizza for this stuff, which I thought, hey, I don't care, whatever. So we ended up having leftovers instead, which was a yellow rice and sausage. So knocked that out. Had herself a nice little dinner. Got the dogs all fed. Once I found out how much I'm supposed to feed the dog. And then, of course, the dogs knew they didn't eat much. So really was a non-starter but it's more of the fact that you need to kind of let me know what's going on is kind of when I ask you to do things like fill out the forms and stuff and information that's why I ask you this stuff but got that done um, end up back outside uh, having a nice cigar with the dogs headed in and got everybody all situated for bed and because the crate doesn't work it doesn't it's all beat to shit I'll just let the dog try and sleep in the bedroom with us put her bed next right next to my bed and stuff and Holy crap, she just would not stay down. She just kept getting up and pacing around and lay down for 15 minutes, 20 minutes at max, and get back up and pacing around. And she just, she's noisy and just would whimper and whine and all kinds of stuff. And I even tried, like, well, maybe she wants to be in the bathroom by herself. So I put him in and she'd bark. It just it was a very, very sleepless, sleepless night. So not fun. But well, maybe tomorrow I will try and put her in my crate and see if she's more comfortable in there and we'll settle down and just go to sleep so who the hell knows but anyway that's all i got for now i will talk to you guys tomorrow have yourself a safe wonderful day thanks for watching